So it's been a little bit since I've made a video, but uh, picked up a 98 Dodge Durango for a thousand bucks. Gonna use this for a daily driver so that we keep miles off the Mega Cab. Should have started videoing sooner, but didn't even think about it. It had some really nasty, torn up vinyl seats and went to the junkyard, scored a cloth interior with the matching door panels. I've already put the cloth seats in. Got front, middle, and back. Needed a few other parts. Uh, does need window regulators in the rear. Uh, both mirrors are broken. Uh, the headlights were broken. The bumper had been run into something, so I picked that out of the same Durango. I've got headlights to put in it, new mirrors, new window regulators. Uh, I'm going to do a tune-up because it's got 227,000 miles on it. I already replaced the passenger front wheel bearing. It does need a windshield, but other than that, it's in pretty good shape. And then for 200 bucks, I scored a whole parts Durango after I went to the junkyard, but that's okay. Got these off of eBay. Not bad. I do like how the lens is clear instead of the old style where it's got the ribs on the inside. The headlight bulbs are off Amazon. They are an LED product called Cougar Motor. I've used them in several vehicles. I love them a ton. They make things way better to see at night. I have a fender flare that I need to put on this side. I believe something happened to where they put a new fender on this side because this fender used to be red. And obviously the paint color is a little different from the rest of it. I've got two new window regulars for the rear windows. I have a new handle for this side. Like I said before, I've got new mirrors and I've got new door panels that I'm gonna put in to match the seats. That's the only flaw in all of the seats that I could find so far. All right, so here's the new door panel out of the Durango I got the seats from. Here's the old one. I'm not too worried about not having the tweeter because it doesn't exactly look like the uh, best quality and the mirror glass is broken so I'm gonna go put the new mirrors in put the door panel on and then do the same on the back door after we put the regulator in and clean all the tape mess all right just double check the new mirror on the switch to make sure it all works now we're gonna take the Old one off, put the new one on, put the door panel on.
All right, new mirrors on. For some reason, that rubber piece is like twice as big as the old one. So it was a nightmare to get in. Uh, I'm gonna clean up the door panel before I throw it on. Make sure the switches work and everything and then re-attach uh, the sound deadener to the panel. New panel's on, gonna button it up. Everything seems to be working fine and then we'll move over to the driver's side. All right, I'm not gonna bore you with the whole process of this one. I'll just come back to it when it's all finished. I do have to switch out the door handle because I think someone either couldn't get in one day or who knows, maybe they tried to steal this lovely vehicle. So I'm gonna fish out the lock that's in there so I can retain the original lock so that the key still works. All right, got the panel on. That one took a while. There's the other one. And got the lock fix with the new latch. Do need to adjust this door a little bit. The body lines line up real well, but it uh, hits the latch. And from the look of this, it looks like that's been adjusted almost all the way up but it's still hitting right there. So I think we might have to adjust the door just a little bit, but that's on, new mirrors are on. Need to do the back two tomorrow. I'm gonna start doing the tune up on this. So that way I can get ahead of that and then get the bumper put back on. Now that I got the headlights all buttoned up. All right, so today we are doing the tune-up. Um, I've got almost all the plugs out. I've got two left, and then we'll pull all the wires out, do the cap and the rotor, and see if we can't snaggle that PCV valve out. But the hose is pretty stiff, so it'll probably break, so I might wait to do that. But numbered all the plug wires just to make it easy. Putting champions in it. Taking auto lights out of it. We'll see how she runs. All right, so that's out. Going to do the rotor, right there it is, and then we'll get the new wires and new cap on. So after really looking at it, it looked like the original rotor, cap, and wires had been on this for 227,000 miles. The Rotor was very hard to get off. I had to use a pair of pliers to get it off because it had kind of rusted on there. So I didn't video much of the rest of it. I uh, got all the wires in, all the new plugs, new cap, new rotor, fired it up, everything running like it should. I'm gonna move on to doing the rear doors. All right, figured I'd throw the bumper on since we're all done with everything on the front end. Doesn't look bad, even though it's not matching the paint color. And now I'm gonna move on to the windows. After getting the window regulator out of the box, I realized that the way the motor mounts is different than the factory one. So I'm waiting on a reply back from the person on eBay who I bought it from. So when I get all that figured out, I'll make a new video for you guys. Thanks for watching.